has been signed, closing is done. Money has been moved. We are officially broke and about to move into <laughs> our new boat, our new home, our boat, our boat home. <laughs> our boat home, yep. Our boat. So we've got to go from West Palm Beach to Vero where we do the move. Do the and move, all that move good in, stuff. clean, all that stuff. <sighs> Let's and get it's started. So <laughs> One of the last times you'll ever have to disconnect and connect the car. I know, our new little tow car is going to be an actual dinghy. <laughs> you going to miss the process? Yeah. Oh, I will miss the little car. I know, me too. It's been a good little tow car. Good to go. Last road trip. I know, it's getting sadder by the minute. Good lord. <laughs> Oh goody, we get to fill up again. 95 miles empty. You are miss filling up the fuel tank? <laughs> yeah. 100 gallons of gasoline. I will not miss gasoline. Everything good back there? So. All right. Singa, are you gonna miss being on the road? Mm -hmm. No, the boat is not located in a shopping center, obviously. We're parking here because the gated community where the marina is, where the boat is, it's a little bit snobby in the fact that they say absolutely, positively, no RVs. No matter what. No matter what. So we're gonna have to go talk to them and find out if they'll let us come in just for the moving purposes, at least. Um, if not, it's gonna be a real freaking long couple of days loading up the smart car back and forth from a shopping center. If we can even stay boat. here, who yeah. knows? Yeah, so anyway, we'll figure it out. Yay! Yay. Logistics. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Do you guys have a spot where you can get in with like a, a larger vehicle? It's actually a, like a, motor a it's a motorhome. Well, I think someone called about that before. Yeah. Yeah, he said we'd have to ask at the front at the front desk and talk to the manager. Now, what will you be doing this moving thing there? The RV's actually parked at Publix. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, looks like we're gonna have to wait for an answer and let's hope it's not a no. <laughs> Good news, we got to go ahead to bring the RV in. We cannot stay overnight, womp womp. Not that we need to stay in the RV, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're going to head over and get as much as we can moved in the next several hours and go from there. Should be exciting. This is what I kept. Good job, honey. This is going to be fun. Ha! Right. You keep telling yourself that. It's going to be... Workout. <laughs> Kitchen's almost empty ish. Yeah, it's the uh, beauty of not having much stuff. So, how many of these trips total do you think it will take? 20. Okay, we'll keep track. This is number one. Trip number two complete. Mostly cupboard, pantry. All that jazz. Ooh. All that jazz. Not horrible in here. We just dropped it all. Now I need to put it away. I said 20. Hey. 
Hitting a little bit of a wall here. Bedroom. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> and, oh look, more of Nikki's stuff. Hey. <laughs> oh, baby. I hear you, Singa. All right, let's take it out. Well, we are done for the moment. Stomachs are growling. Gonna go grab some grub. Come back. The cats, the fridge, the inflatable paddleboard. Scuba gear. Scuba gear, and I think we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. We're nice. not doing the bays in the no. RV. A little bit with the oh, board yeah, and the... A few of the bays, but yeah. not all of them because we gotta go through some of that stuff and Yeah, there's still a little work left to be done, but we're gonna move mostly in, get settled, and yeah. then kick out the current owner. He's <laughs> he's sleeping in our bed tonight. Still enjoying his cigars, <laughs> yeah. you know, out with his buddies. Yeah, but he's leaving on Sunday and then we'll do like a huge organizing day. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go eat. We should show them what it looks like. Here, okay. I'll take you for a tour. All right. So here's all of our crap in this cabin. And then go this direction. And there's the rest of our crap in the other cabin. But hey, so far all of our crap fits in one hole. We'll see if we can keep that up. Okay, grab time. It's about 11 o'clock and it actually ended up taking us seven trips for now <laughs> to get most of the stuff out of the RV and in the boat. Most of it's here and everywhere. We've got a ton of organizing to do, but we've got the cats and they're about to get let out so they can scope out the boat for the very first time. So, exciting way to end the day. Are you ready? There you go, Miss Cleo. Go explore. Morning. Morning. Coffee time. Ooh, it's sunny. Feels mm -hmm. good. It's about 24 hours since the owner, well, previous owner left and we've been on the boat all by ourselves. Yesterday we cleaned, scrubbed pretty much all day, didn't get any footage because, well, we were exhausted and uh, sweating our booties off. But we did make some progress inside, so I'm going to show you real quick. This is what it's like two days after moving in. Nikki's cooking breakfast over there. Making oatmeal. Just working on organizing. First night we slept in the owner's cabin, it was a much nicer mattress, so stoked about that. And we've moved our stuff into the bathroom. Still, again, not organized yet. There's a nice big shower. The kitty cats seem to be adjusting really well. Hi, Singa. <laughs> this is our catch-all, don't know what's gonna go in here yet, room. <sighs> the berth we were living in while the owner was here. It's a mess, of course. But hey, things are coming along. Feeling pretty good. The past couple of days have absolutely flown by. We've moved quite a bit over the past several years and it never gets easier. It's always challenging. Figuring out where everything should go and the most reasonable places. And so, yeah, a lot of work, but um, it's fun 
ish. <laughs> no, it is fun and it's starting to feel a little bit more like our boat. The cats are settling in, which is good because we have to move it soon. Uh, so it'll be their first sea trial. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick little tour and show you how we're progressing. Here is not our full linens on here yet, but hey, look, not too much junk in all the corners. It's coming along. See, I already got the computers at the desk there. Bathroom's not too cluttered. Now over on this side, sadly, this room is still the catch-all. Now most of these tubs are actually empty and the bags, there's really only a few things in here. Um, yeah, it's just become the storage unit for now. I am happy to report that the guest cabin is back in order and Singa has claimed this as his room. And this is her little corner. Say hi, Cleo. Aww. Is it morning now? Yeah. The boat is mostly clean. Our stuff is mostly put away. And I think that we are all mostly ready for our first journey on the boat. It's gonna be exciting stuff. See you soon.